Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Until Dawn. Let's go back to the river. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh. He More kind of, less, but in that outfit, he reminds me of Desmond. Something like that. Nice. How did he follow us up? Oh god, he sounds like the Predator too. Yo, yo, yo! We gonna get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Oh, worry. I'm a good hey, you doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Ooh, I have to pick an entrance? Interesting. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. You sap. It's adorable, but come on. He has a crush on Ashley, if I remember. Or do I Ashley know? was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? I'm gonna protest. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Dude, blood flowing out of your nose, yeah. you know, stop. Listen, dude, Punch look it. around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill! I don't know. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's, like, weird? What if she, she might not, like, want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. I disagree with your philosophy, sir. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? So, could I have just avoided right. that conversation altogether? You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got Cochise? four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. It's oh, always got Nobody them. likes cool buns. Well, there's an axe. I'm going to keep going. What else is there? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Uh. Wouldn't this thing be, like, frozen to the ground? Maybe not. The axe is missing, actually. Oh, that is not locked in the slightest. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. What did you give me? It's a lighter. It's a bright ass lighter. Holy shit. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? 
Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. That's stupid. Bingo. It's so dangerous All to right, do. So you've got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> that was actually not a bad impression. Okay. Okay. Snowboard. No board like snowboard. I already made that joke. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's toe to me. That's what I do. And then spin you. Oh, it's a lizard. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So someone's gonna light on fire, huh? Oh, that was scary. Uh, can I walk a little faster? I'm gonna inspect this creepy room. What is this? Ooh, is it a collectible? Ooh, X Janner so convicted for here? arson. Oh, wait, I can actually read it. Cool. 16 years ago, I'm in the hotel. I guess I should read it. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a F-blanking whore. He vowed to get all of you your effing husband and kids and said he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain a composure throughout the case and later came and later claimed that she was upset by Milgram's threats. She had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. So this is the Scooby-Doo, the janitor did it? This is an impressive lighter. It's like a Zippo. Creepy. Can you see me? I kind of like the way this game controls. It's so it's clunky and. What's this? Huh? That's cool. No, it isn't. They're dead. Can I actually get a better view? It's not. Wait. Why are you looking down there? Uh oh. What the hell was that? Hey, it'll be fine, fella. These old houses make rickety sounds now and then. Hello, Mr. Bullskull. What's behind door number one? Is it scary, guys? Let's see, so that's... First of all, I should open the door. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Alright, as long as I maintain his course of not being a complete asshole, he is kind of like me. God, it is dark as balls. That's a ball right there, actually. Isn't this from, like, the sneak preview that TV's gonna turn on? Oh, I can turn it on myself. Oop. Nope. Power is dead. Power walk. I hear weird whispery sounds. It's 
there anything on the table I can inspect? No, it's just not quite fruit. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this is cool. It's like super. Oh, this, I don't even know what game this reminds me of, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just its own th thing, and that's cool. Can I not go through here? It's not. Yes, it's pillar, fella. Go around the pillar. There we go. What's that thing? This is open. Oh, what's this? Ready for the senior prom. Han, Sam, Mike, Emily. Is this my objective? No. That's very locked. Fine, I'll go upstairs, gosh. Those stairs do not look safe. This way? Okay. Spooky. That's what was making all the sound. Okay, that's definitely a bathroom. Before I go there, though, what else is there? I saw this thing blinking. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a little trophy. Best horror film, 2009. Blood Monastery. It's a shitty title name. So this is somewhat recent, I guess. The settings. Can I go this way? Nope. I guess the only way left to go. I came from this way, I think. Yeah, okay. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. To the bathroom. Supposedly this game auto saves very frequently. So Sessions. I could go over to that door, but my pants are so much more interesting. God, it really is Resident Evil like the first one. First one? Yeah, that's the one with the mansion. Nothing over here. It's not even suspenseful yet. There we go. Wait. No, it's a f fancy looking tub. Is the tub making that sound? God, it's creaky as hell. RO2. Well, then. Inferno for men. How. Oh. Oh, that was scary. Get the fuck! Ah, what the hell was that thing? It was like a badger. Ah, perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby that Wolverine. Was a Wolverine. Baby. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. How did that even get in there? I guess it wanted to stay warm. Poor thing. Oh, Matt looks unhappy. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Uh oh. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. It's easy there, cowboy. Um. A challenge, I guess. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? He's probably telling the truth. I apologize. Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. You have your friends you can hug. It's not we don't we don't live in the sixteen hundreds. Or even looking at someone means you have to get married. There she is. Oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face hole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Why do you, you have to be so antagonistic, cow. seriously? Diffuse, come on. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch oaf. it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Stop. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. Right, there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. Jesus. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer. God, you're jacket. mean. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. You're mean. You're a mean okay. girl. Let's go. But she was also mean, the other girl. Why you gotta be mean? Why can't we be friends? Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath.
That's never a good idea in scary situations. Never. Mm -mm. Mm. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, burr. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I He really does not. remind me of Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. These people are fucked up. Wait. No, I don't want to. I want to go this way. Rebel. Uh huh. I'm not going down there. What's over here? Come on, you wouldn't make let me go over here and not have something. God damn it. At certain points, this game really does look like a movie. Look, she's all magic-y. Put this behind her. Nope, I can't do it anymore. Now, it doesn't look sturdy. Cool, I can actually like point to things I'm talking about. Look, shoes. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. <sighs> you two are a match made right in heaven. Uh... It's probably a shitty photo. Good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Ah, I Sex in your windows everywhere. We wait. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Oh. I'm gonna have to shoot that Emily's squirrel as dumb as she looks huh? if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I can make everyone uh, nice if I try. Yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. I'm gonna keep being nice. No, I mean, of course not. I'm just saying it's... Look, it's not worth kicking her when she's down. Because I'd much rather spend my time getting down with you. You see, you see what I, I did there? I did that for you. Yeah, okay. But she better stay down is all I'm saying. Saying something? Interesting. Interesting. R2. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Oh yeah, he said Didn't the generator. Didn't Josh stay there with a the generator? Hmm. Oh, wait. Is it a totem? It's a totem. Mike, wouldn't it 
be nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving? Jenny! Oh! Who's that fella? Is that, is that the bad guy? Am I gonna get to see the bad guy soon? Alright. Let's see. Ooh. And... Ooh. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard! Oh, hi. That's a different guy though, the mask is completely different. Can I check this thing again? Does it do something different? No, I guess not. Curiouser and curiouser. I got it this time. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Zam! The gates shall open. Oh, it was like a maglock? Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. Are we ever going to, I wonder if at any point of the game they're going to stumble yet? over the bodies of the twins. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Wow. Boy, she really has sex on the brain. Hmm. Why is there tape? tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. I hope they're at peace. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. You piece of shit, you're the reason they died. It's a nice way of thinking about it. You know what's interesting? They could have gone a different route and not shown what happens to the twins. Like, they fell off the cliff and then it would be a mystery if they actually did die. Ooh. Creepy. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it there, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye.